So now let's look at MIDI automation. This means that you can actually change the nature of the MIDI notes themselves while they're playing. In this video we'll just look at how to change the pitch bend of a note. Now pitch bend is as the name suggests. The pitch is the type of note it is and you're bending it. It's moving up or it's moving down. Let's see how that happens. I've selected this particular track because it has a simple note repeating. If I solo it you'll see what I mean and you'll notice it's on loop and we've only just got the one little bit of bar going there. Let's have a listen to that. Sounds like some sort of generator in the background but it'll be a good one to start with. Now let's expand that track. There's a little bar there. Right click and we'll have a look at what we've got. Insert, remove envelope, volume pan. That's there for every track. Let's do insert pitch bend. Now there's a lot of notes there and we'll expand the track out. And make it a bit easier just to see what's going on. I'll move that into position. There we are, that's just about right. Here's our pitch bend envelope and we can start double clicking on notes and I'm just clicking on each particular note so that when we change one particular value it doesn't change the whole nature of the line itself. And I thought well we might as well just work on the bar. It's a bit like stitching isn't it? So let's move this particular point down. See how that's moving around now? That's because snap is on probably easier to work if that's off. Now it'll move just nice and easy. So there's one, there's the other one. Let's just be really obvious and move it the whole way up and down. Why not? Now remember of course that the whole thing was really quite even and it's a part of this actual song. Well there's one more. See if I just move this now, <laughs> whole thing's gone and all the pitch will be wrong from that point on. It'll lift. So we'll just go back, put in another point there, and now we can move that up. Let's have a listen to that. Quite different, isn't it? If we had a longer note, then we could get more of a sliding effect and it would be easy to hear. But I'm just working what we've got. And even in this case, you can hear the fact that the note is changing in pitch. And that's something that you can do with MIDI and you can't do with audio.